Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with Surfworks Art Labs. Welcome to the underground laboratory where we create robots, alien zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comic books because this is the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge where we spend 30 minutes a day every day for 100 days straight working on our own personal comic book project. My project is this one. This is the current issue of Young and the Dead. It's a kids versus zombie story. Think Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead, available at surfworks.com along with the other previous two issues. So there's three issues up there. I'm working on issue four. That's what this whole thing is all about. And uh, where are we on the challenge here? So, whoa! We just lost our little <laughs> mannequin guy. All right. So we are at day, let's see, day 69. You can take, you can make whatever you want out of that. But it's day 69. And uh, so we just dot that down on the oversized pad of paper with the big fat Sharpie. And that'll tell us where we are in the challenge. Me, 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 me. All right. Okay, whenever we hear that chime, that you got mail chime, that means we've got mail. Well, it makes sense that it's a, it, it means we got mail. But we get our mail down here in the lab differently than a lot of people. We don't have like a postman that comes or a post, uh, you know, post person that comes down and delivers our mail or whatever. We're way down here in this underground lair inside of a live volcano, so it gets difficult to get our mail. So what we have to do, we've got this mail delivery system right here. This is the Vaculux. It sends through our mail room, which I don't know how we get it up to that point that's something i gotta do a little research but it, 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 our henchmen sent it through here and uh and that's how we get the mail so let's check it out what do we got here okay it is a package and then you, as you can see it's kind of small if you're new to this you know that big boxes we can't shoot through the mail system because they're just too large they won't fit in this little canister so we have to reduce the size of our packages which means we've got to get a little tube thing like this drop a little water on it because they're dehydrated they dehydrate them in the mail room send them to us we dehydrate them and then we can do the unboxing so let's do that right now okay now that it's actual size we'll go ahead and open that thing Let's see. Uh, I've ordered a lot of stuff, so I don't know exactly what's in here. We'll see. Looks like a few different things. So, all right, what do we got here? We got some oversized ellipse templates, great for creating comics. We got those. I will put those to good use. What is this? This is... Oh, this is a camera bag, so I can take my camera that I'm using, that I'm filming this on mobile. I can take it around. Nothing super exciting. It's cool for me. Um, oh, and this, another thing. So I've just bought a bunch of different things to film with and kind of improve the channel. You guys have probably seen these little pop sockets you can put on your iPhone or whatever. So it just, this little thing, it's flat. It pops out like this. So you can act, or actually like this. So you know how hard an iPhone is to, to actually hold when you're doing vlogging and stuff like that? This just pops in there and it creates a cool little stand. So I got that, that is cool. And oh, this is the main thing that I've been wanting. Okay, so so I don't know, sometimes the lighting down here in the underground lair gets a little dark, uh, especially up in this corner over here, right up here where the uh, parallelescope is. So I got this little LED light. Now this is something you can hook it, you know, prop it up to your camera if you got like a DSLR. I'm not that fancy, I got kind of a point and shoot, but, um, but I can also use it just by itself, mount it up here, and it gives out a lot lot of light according to the reviews and everything so I'm anxious to try this out and hopefully that will improve the channel so so yeah I don't know this is this is you know something you know and if you guys are starting to do YouTube or whatever don't worry about all this fancy stuff just whatever you've got a smartphone just use that and as your channel continues to grow then you can kind of add little things to it to, to make it a little better here and there but don't let the technology don't let you don't have to get everything perfect to start just just get started and then gradually as your channel continues to grow you start putting you can start putting a little uh, more into it as far as you know cameras and lights and all that kind of stuff but anyway uh, enough about making YouTube videos and things like that. Let's get on to making comics, what this is all about. We're going to go up here, like I said, to the Parallelescope, which allows it to view alternate realities where the process of making Young and the Dead Issue 4 is going on right now as we speak, so let's check it out. So I'm driving home uh, from work where I put in my 30 minutes a day on my lunch hour, which has kind of been the case for, I don't know, probably since I started uh, most of these pages 
it just seems it's a you know it's it's a time of day that I've got that chunk and it seems to work and that's always helpful when you have when you have a certain specified time it's it seems like you can get stuff done better than like oh I'll just find some time some 30 minutes somewhere in my day now of course on the weekends that's a different story I've got to find that time because I don't have work but uh, anyway so yeah now that I'm now that I'm inking and I've you know I've inked uh, three previous pages up to this right now I'm working on the spread for pages four and five if you can follow me you know um, but this page is where I'm actually getting to do some characters and things like that so I'm actually doing a lot more brush work as opposed to just you know a straight edge and rulers and all that stuff and the microns and there was a little bit a little bit of other stuff in those first three pages but not much so um, but this is the kind of this is the stuff I like to do that I like to ink uh, characters and things because it's for me it's therapeutic inking has always been one of those things where I don't have to really think about too much just kind of you know uh, as opposed to penciling or writing or whatever where I've kind of I've got to pay closer attention to what I'm doing this is just like oh yeah and this you know put the headphones on and I do that sometimes when I'm inking too not when I write um, but anyway, so in, in inking, I've been thinking about, I don't know, I was, I, we were doing an art casters a while back and somehow the topic came out like, who would you want to ink your stuff, you know, other than you? And I, I, I kind of like to ink my own work and I think it's probably because I, my stuff is just so loose, I think uh, any other inker would have a hard time <laughs> going over it because, you know, it's, my, my work is like really loose my pencils so um, but it just to answer the question um, I said uh, uh, the person that I would like to have my ink my stuff was uh, Kevin Kevin Cross who I was doing the art casters with who I do the art casters with but um, and because uh, I've always admired his his ink work even before uh, you know we actually you know started doing the art casters or you know doing the 100s and I got to know him and everything I always really liked his line work uh, his ink work and but I don't know his his I, I think his style on my stuff would be again it would be <laughs> it would be difficult because it's so loose and one thing I noticed about Kevin um, and I hadn't really noticed this before but um, in watching some of his his videos that the I think the reason why his ink work is so tight is because his pencils are so tight you know he's got this really nice I don't want to say cross hatching because it doesn't really like cross no pun intended um, it's but it's kind of like kind of fades away and it kind of creates I don't know I don't know what you call that technique but I really like that in his stuff now on my book it would look maybe look odd because uh, I haven't established that look but if I ever when I finish this book and when I you know I do want to do some pinups and I'd like to pay some artist friends that I know to do do pinups for for that I, I kind of curious to see what his take on my characters would be in his style so um, as well as there's some other people who uh, I also admire um, that I'd like to uh, have uh, you know just take a crack at some of my characters or zombies or whatever just to just to use but but anyway yeah so I don't know my my work is so loose that um, uh, I don't know I think like I said I think any other anchor would have a hard time doing it but comparing those two things I don't know you know um, sometimes I think maybe if I took more time you know and did some really tight pencils kind of like what I used to do with my my previous book uh, retrofits um, I worked a lot tighter and as a result it never got done so I think if I did that um, it probably the book would probably never get done so I you know I'll keep I'll keep doing it the way I'm doing and it's you know it's my inks are so loose and they don't necessarily even go over the lines that I've created underneath and sometimes it's like oh I didn't I don't know if I like that you know and because it's, it's just some of it is just like just kind of on a whim I kind of I'll take the line in a different direction that really wasn't underneath and sometimes that's to my detriment sometimes that's a benefit because I think sometimes it gives it a little more life and a little you know because it because it is loose but but I don't know. It's just it's just different styles. Sometimes it's like, oh, maybe I should have done it. You know, if I would have planned this out a little more, it would look better. But you know, that's kind of what I established, and that's what I'll continue to do. So anyway, these are some things I'm thinking about on my drive home. Um, uh, just 
in regards to inking. So, yeah. Okay, we are back and we are gonna say goodbye to day 69. Man, we are moving up. We're, you know, tomorrow is day 70. Can you believe that? Getting up there, getting up there. Um, so we crumble this up, we throw it in the garbage. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 70. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at cirkworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this series. There's much more to come.